what she was thinking, but she did look a bit angry. So could you see the change that Joy went through from the beginning to the end of the journey? I don't know what she was thinking, but she did seem a bit more angry with everybody after the whipping. Did you see Doyle take more responsibility and become a full-on sailor throughout the journey? After the whipping, she did become more involved with the crew, helping around, especially during the storm. So this would make Doyle more capable of extreme actions, correct? She was more capable, but nothing like murder. Did you see Doyle and Holly Brass near each other during the night of the storm? I saw Doyle with a man who looked like Holly Brass. Are you sure that man you saw was Holly Brass? I'm not 100% sure, but that man looked a lot like Holly Brass. Is it true that you wanted Charlotte's father to help you with your next assignment? Yes, I did. So you were especially nice to Doyle on the voyage because of that reason? I was quite nice. And there would be a lower chance of you getting that request if you claimed his daughter was a murderer, right? Yes, I believe so. No further questions, Your Honor. Any redirect examination? No, Your Honor. All right. The witness may be excused. My name is Zachariah. I am the cook on the Seahawk, and I have been sailing for 40 years. How do you know Charlotte? I saw her board the ship, and I later met her in person. How did you feel about her riding the Seahawk? I was very worried for her safety because she was the youngest one on the ship and the only girl on the ship, and I, and the crew and I had planned a mutiny, and I didn't want her, her to get caught up in the mutiny and, and get hurt. Why was the mutiny being planned? Because uh, of uh, Captain Jaggery's harshness towards the crew. What happened during the mutiny? Charlotte Doyle had found out about the mutiny, and and it was through Doyle that Captain Jaggery had found out. And Captain Jaggery shot Cranick, someone we stowed away on the ship, in, in the chest, and, and ordered me to have 50 lashings. Did anything else happen before landfall? faked my, uh, my death uh, and and a few weeks afterwards there was a storm a very very intense storm that could have easily sunk in the ship what happened during the storm while I was trying to help out wherever I could without being seen I I noticed that I saw I saw Holly Brass gesturing to Charlotte, uh, I assume ordering Charlotte to climb up the second mast. And, and I climbed up the lines went, uh, along, uh, along with her to make sure she didn't fall off. Uh, and I, I was able to, to pull her to safety before she fell, and that was when the main mast had snapped in two. What happened after the main mass? Uh, uh, what happened during the out of the storm? It, uh, we were picking up the broken pieces of the mast, and Ewing had had shut, uh, had yep, yeah, and yelled at, that he had found. Found Polly Brass's body, <coughs> and 
and I and I could instantly see it, the knife that I had given Chuck like Doyle was in, in Holly Brass's back, and I was so surprised when I saw that. What happened after the knife was found? Captain Jaggery had thrusted a finger at, at Charlotte Doyle, accusing her of, of murder, and and like any sane person, uh, Charlotte ran, ran from the captain. The captain cha chased after her and lost footing and fell off the ship. Is there anyone who would have had an opportunity to kill Holly Brass? Uh, I, I think that uh, that any anyone had had the motive uh, to kill Holly Brass and, and the opportunity, not just Charlotte. No more questions, Your Honor. Any cross examination? Yes, Your Honor. Did you give Doyle the knife that was found in Holly Brass's back? She reluctantly accepted the knife I gave her, yes. You are a sailor with lots of experience, correct? Yes. At one point you said that Doyle may have murdered Holly Brass to get revenge, correct? Objection. I Speculation. Counsel, do you have a response? Yes, just uh, stating facts that were in the witness statement. At one point you said that Doyle may have murdered Holly Brass to get revenge, correct? Oh, um, because it says may, then it would be speculating that. Um, I believe that that would be a speculation because the question is asking whether or not he had said that in the past. I am going to overrule the objection, but I will note it for the record. At one point you said that Doyle may have murdered Holly Brass to get revenge, correct? At the time, I was so confused that I was foolish enough to believe that she could have killed Holly Brass. But yes, at the moment I did. So you did think she was capable of murdering Holly Brass, correct? Uh, at the moment, I did, but now I don't. Did you actually see Doyle go up the mast on the night of the storm? Yes. Did you help go behind Jaggery's back and plan the mutiny? Yes. Did you fake your own death? Yes. So you must be a pretty good liar to pull off all those feats, yes? Yes, but I would not lie in court. Did I want to be friends with you in the beginning of the journey? Uh, I would not know whether or not she wanted to be friends with me. In the middle of the journey, though, you two were friends, correct? We were pretty close. I wouldn't say friends. Did you have any other good friends on the ship? Uh, uh, I was Junction. friends elephants. Do you have a response, counsel? We're just trying to establish that he was very close to Doyle and have a reason to lie for her. I don't see how um, him having any friends would really change the facts or the verdict of the case. I'm going to sustain the objection. Please feel free to ask another question. So was Doyle your only friend? No. No further questions, Your Honor. Any redirect of this witness? No, Your Honor. Okay. The witness may be excused. Thank you.
Defense would like to call Charlotte Doyle to the stand. Please introduce yourself to the court. My name is Charlotte Doyle. I'm 13, and I was the only passenger on the Seahawk. Why were you traveling on the Seahawk? I was traveling from Liverpool, England to Rhode Island, America. Were you traveling with your family? Unfortunately, no. They had already left, and I had to finish up my semester of school. I had no choice but to go by myself. How did you feel about going on the Seahawk? At first, I was excited. I thought it would be a fun adventure on the open seas and maybe a chance to make new friends. But I soon changed my mind. How did you feel about it after you changed your mind? Well, after figuring out that there would be no more passengers on the ship other than me, I was scared and afraid of the sailors. I, was, I also thought it was improper for an unchaperoned young child like me to be aboard a, a ship with sailors. Did you meet anyone on the ship? Yes, I met all the crew members, but especially Zachariah. He wanted to be friends with me. He wanted to protect me. I didn't want to be friends with him, but he gave me a knife for my protection. I reluctantly agreed. What did you do with the knife then? I didn't really care for it, so I hid it under my mattress. Did you have any jobs on the ship? The captain appointed me to be his eyes on the ship. Did you find anything suspicious on the ship? Yes, I actually stumbled across the mutiny and a pistol in one of the lockers. What did you do in response to finding this? I told Captain Jaggery, of course. I didn't want anyone to get hurt on the ship or for there to be chaos. What happened when you told Jaggery about the robbers to ground robbery? He and Holly Brass immediately went up on deck with guns and killed Kranich right in front of me. And I was afraid. What happened after Kranich's death? Well, Captain Jaggery tried to force me and Zachary to throw Kranich overboard without any last words for his soul. I was, I didn't want to do it. And then that's when, um, that's when they ordered Hollygrass to whip Zachary 50 times. What did you do after Hollygrass whipped Zachary? Well, I thought it was unfair and I tried to take the whip away from Captain or uh, sorry, Holly Brass, because I didn't want Zachariah to be hurt, because it wasn't really his fault, and the captain did it for no reason. When I was trying to take the whip away, Captain Jaggery tried to reach for it again, and in doing so, I turned away, and the whip accidentally hit him in the face. It was purely accidental. What did you do in response to the events that happened during the whip? I felt I could no longer trust Captain Jaggery. I mean, he killed Kranich and tried to whip Zachariah 50 times. I thought I could just go to the crew for protection instead. What did you do with the knife that you left on your mattress? Well, I mean, I didn't take it with me. I had forgotten about it. And when I moved cabins, it was still underneath the, my, pa my passenger cabins and my, under my mattress. I would like to direct your attention to this one. What happened during the storm? Holly Brass ordered me to go up the second mast and cut the sails. I was afraid and I wanted to know what he was, I wanted to understand him. So I put my hands on his shoulders to try to understand and ask for help, but he refused. I was scared, but I did it anyways. And while I was trying to climb back down, the mast snapped in two and I thought I was going to die, but Zachariah safe, safely um, dropped me down below. When the storm cleared up, what did you find? Well, the crew and I stumbled across Holly Brass's dead body with my knife stuck in his back. The captain immediately accused me of murder. What was, he, what was your reaction to his outburst? Well, he tried to chase me, and I was afraid. I saw what he did already, so I ran for my life. I ran towards the front of the ship, but while I was running, he lost footing and slipped into the sea. I was afraid of him, but I didn't want to see him die. Final question. Did you stab Holly Grass? Of course I didn't. I didn't have the chance to. I was helping the crew keep the ship afloat the entire time. 
and I hadn't seen the knife in weeks. I hadn't even touched that knife. No further questions, Your Honor. Any cross-examination of this witness? Yes, Your Honor. Do you understand much of what happened on the sea hawk? No, I didn't, but I knew that I wasn't the one who killed Holly Brass. Is it true that you were more angry at Holly Brass than at Jaggery during the lashing? That is correct. Did you want revenge on Holly Brass for Zachariah's lashing? I wanted him to be put to justice. I didn't want to hurt him myself. Did Zachariah give you the knife? I reluctantly agreed to take it. I didn't want it. Were you and Zachariah close? I wouldn't say very close, but he tried to be my friend, and I thought he could protect me. Were you in control of yourself when you tackled Holly Brass? The only thought that was clear in my mind was to protect Zachariah, but I didn't know what I was doing. Was it your knife found in the back of Holly Brass? <coughs> I I did not put the knife there, but it was my knife that was in his back, but it wasn't me who did it. When you got on the ship, did you think that you were better than Kurt? At first, I did. I hadn't been on a ship before. I didn't experience a life of sailors. I thought that I was supposed to be privileged and get a better passenger cabin, but I realized that that wasn't true. Were you trained to use a knife during your time on the Seahawk? I was trained to protect myself. You got the hang of being a sailor pretty quick, right? Correct. Were you surprised when you were able to knock down Holly Rest during the lashing? Yes, I was very surprised. I didn't know I could even do it. Would you say that gave you confidence? I, I wouldn't say confidence. I just wanted to do what was right. Is it true that you didn't flinch but called Jaggery a coward when he slapped you? Yes. I do not know. It was not in my testimony. Were you thinking about the consequences when you tackled Holly Brass? Well, the only consequence I was consequences I was thinking about was to was that Zachariah wouldn't be killed or hurt. So would it be safe to assume that you would not be thinking about the consequences if you were to murder Holly Brass? Sorry, can you? Yes. So would it be safe to assume? that you would not be thinking about the consequences if you were to murder Holly Brown. Objection, speculation. We were only trying to establish that the witness was not thinking about the consequences before, so it would make sense that she wouldn't think about the consequences then. Um, I'm going to go ahead and note that for the record. I am going to overrule the objection. Did you want to respond? So would it be safe to assume that you would not be thinking about the consequences if you were to murder Holly Brass? I wouldn't even be thinking about murdering him in the first place. Yes or no? Um, yes, anyone would think about what would happen after they killed somebody. No further questions, Your Honor. Thank you, Counsel. Any redress examination? No, Your Honors. The witness will be excused. Thank you so much.
closing arguments. Your Honor, today the evidence provided shows that Charlotte Doyle undoubtedly murdered first mate Holly Breath. Our witnesses have testified to Charlotte Doyle having the strength, opportunity, and motive to commit this crime. Doyle has changed throughout the journey on the Seahawk, as our witnesses have shown. She is no longer a proper little girl, but instead, Doyle has proven herself as a crew member that is capable of anything. Doyle had the strength to commit the murder. She had a knife while aboard the ship, and also had the training to use it, as we saw, some, as we saw from Grimes. We have also shown that Doyle had the opportunity to kill Holly Brass. She was the last person seen with him on deck during the storm, and was also seen talking and gesturing with him, according to many witnesses. Lastly, we have shown that Doyle had the motive to murder Holly Brass. All witnesses have proven that Doyle was very angry at Holly Brass after Zachariah's lashing. Doyle said herself she could not control her actions during the lashing that led up to her attacking Holly Brass. These are all concrete reasons that we have shown to prove that Doyle is a definite mem the definite murderer of first mate Holly Brass. Charlotte even testified to not being in control of her actions and not thinking about the consequences of said actions. Charlotte Doyle needs to be punished for this unthinkable crime with the maximum penalty allowed by the law. We have shown that Doyle had the motive, opportunity, and strength. Your Honor, we ask that you find the defendant, Charlotte Doyle, guilty of the murder of first mate Holly Brass. Both myself, Audrey Carson, and my fellow attorney, Sophie Boyer, thank you. Charlotte has been shown to be an innocent 13-year-old girl who would never kill someone. She was all alone when she boarded the Seahawk, except for the captain, who soon showed a scary side, leaving 